All right. Uh, Sunday, maybe around noon. Got to bed at two in the morning. Louis wants to hear what the hell I got to say. <laughs> hey, uh, man, thank you all so much. Um, I've raced the Daytona 500 probably six times. Southern 500 at Darlington. I raced in Japan. Everywhere. Mexico, Canada. Last night on Saturday night at the Dome. Simply qualifying into the race. Um, there were 60 cars there. And they only started 20. We won that B main. And the way all of you reacted to me simply winning the B main. I didn't expect that. I thought, well, I'd, I, I would try to win the race. Didn't know if I had the car to do it. And it was all of you. I was like, what in the world? You inspired me. A lot of pressure on me. I'm like, damn, what do I do? What do I do? Hell, you can't go wrong doing Ric Flair. <laughs> so, um, by far the biggest last night at the Dome, winning winning the damn B main, the qualifier. They call it the win and you're in. Highlight of my racing career at 59 years old. I never realized that. I've read so much. I, I had no idea that you all didn't know I was that old. <laughs> Thanks to Mark Martin and Carl Edwards. I said, teach me how to eat so I can stay young. Between grilled fish and uh, you know, salmon and grilled chicken and good salads and, you know, good dressing and staying going. Man, I'm trying to stay young. But uh, the old man's wore out this morning. Look at me. I look like shit. I look, I look you know, Delana Harvick, Kevin Harvick's wife said it best one time. You know, at the end of your life, coming in all beautiful, not a mark on your body. That ain't no fun. You want to end your life skidding in, baby. All abused, tore up. That's the way I am right now. Two torn tendons, cortisone shot in both knees. Got one of them floaters in one of my damn eye. I'm 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 feeling it. But anyway, listen. Um, hey, on a serious note, man, uh, Turbo won that that big A main in the late models, and uh, it shocked everybody. Lost his father. Oh my God. Took the wind out of everybody's sails there for a minute. So my uh, my heartfelt love out to Turbo. Uh, I don't know how anybody could. I, I'd have probably went home. Uh, so he, he won that race for his dad. You know, he was driving on adrenaline. But uh, on a little happier note, I love you all so much. And uh, we're going to celebrate 2023 running here and there. Not traveling anywhere. Going to put Billy Smith in my car one Saturday night. Billy Smith was incredible. Uh, kid's so smart. One of the best drivers in America. Just a hidden talent. I told Billy, I said, damn it, I wish it was 10 years ago. His body's abused too. And he's done. He's going to run here and there every once in a while. But uh, love you all. And one last piece of message to all of you racers out there. Mighty Mike Mullins and all of you up north and all you great race car drivers, you all say, I don't understand that dome. That's crazy. They're tearing their shit up. Right? We all say the same thing. What in the hell are we doing tearing our equipment up? You got to be there. <laughs> you got to be there. <laughs> You'll see why we all all there. It is a celebration of dirt racing. It's almost like not real. It's like, even if you don't make the race, you're like the dome. It was unbelievable. So thanks again for another year. Me and Kim are headed to Key Largo. That is a wrap on the 2022 race season for us. Whew.